Hi lovely people. So today I wanted to tell you a story about my visit to Glastonbury Tor. So about six months ago I was looking online and doing some research for sacred and spiritual places around the world that you could go and visit. Some places that were known to be quite spiritual, you know, that had like a special kind of energy about them. And one of the places that I found that was nearest to me was Glastonbury Tor. Now, if you don't know what Glastonbury Tor is, it's a huge hill in Somerset that sort of just rises out of the ground with not many other hills anywhere around it. And on the top of the hill is this really ancient old tower. And it's known as a really spiritual place to go and visit. It has a lot of legends about it, such as the Hulking Arthur legend came from that area. And so I had been planning on visiting Glastonbury Tor at some point. I only live about a three hour drive south of Glastonbury. It was sort of on my list of places to go and visit and have a look at. And then fast forward to about a month or so ago, I had an amazing intuitive guidance session with a wonderful, amazing lady called Sierra. I'll leave a link to her website down below because I highly, highly recommend getting a intuitive guidance reading from her. One of the first things that she told me is that my spiritual guides were telling her that I needed to go and visit Glastonbury Tor and I needed to go there ASAP and go there as often as I could. Apparently there was a soul piece there for me and it was something that I needed to do. And I thought, wow, this is amazing because I have already planned on going there at some point. Luckily, my best friend was having her birthday in Bristol, which is about an hour drive from Glastonbury Tor. So I planned that I was gonna go up to Bristol for my best friend's birthday and then drive down through Glastonbury on my way home on the Sunday. And I'm so glad that I did because it was really such an amazing experience. I had an amazing weekend with my best friend in Bristol. We had a fantastic night for her birthday. And then the next morning I got dressed and got into my car. And my favorite thing to do is drive through the countryside with the music blaring. So I got into my car, my music's blaring. I was driving down to Glastonbury following my GPS. And at exactly five kilometers to the Glastonbury tour, I saw it in the distance, a teeny tiny little hill with a little tower on the top and something really spectacular and crazy happened. I physically felt like I had been hit in the feels. <laughs> and all of a sudden my heart swelled and my head felt tingly and I burst into tears. I suddenly felt this overwhelming feeling of emotion. I couldn't explain it. It came out of nowhere. I was singing along to my music. But the minute I saw the tour, at exactly five kilometers to the tour, my heart burst open and I burst into tears. And I was crying. And not like a, I can't even explain what kind of crying it was. I was just crying. And I was so like amazed by this but I was crying pretty hard and eventually I had to actually just pull over and I pulled over into a field in front of a farmer's gate so that I could, with a beautiful view of Glastonbury Tor so that I could take a photograph of the tour as I'd just seen it and I quickly messaged Sarah and I said you won't believe what just happened I just saw the tour within five kilometers and burst into tears I have no idea why but this is crazy and wild I finally caught my breath, got back into the car and drove closer to the tour where I found some parking and I made the trip up the tour. Now when you're actually at the tour, it's extremely high and you have to climb up it. Now there's two ways to go up. You can kind of go up the short end, which is pretty steep, or you can go up the long end, which is like a long slope. And most people go that way because if you're in the Glastonbury town, it's like perfect road to go up to the tour. But where I had gone to park was actually down around the short end. And I got to walk up a hill and through a beautiful grove of ancient trees, I could feel how ancient these trees were. Like I could physically feel I'm amongst trees that have been here a long time. And I walked through these trees and then I walked up the side of the hill. Now I remember I had a, I did a fair amount of dancing and drinking the night before, so I was quite sore and hungover. So going up the short end of the, the tour was not the best idea, but I managed to get up it anyway, completely out of breath, got to the top. And when I got to the top, there was a guy with a huge gong and he was just banging this gong and like shaking it. It was making the most beautiful sound and vibration at the top of the tour. And I thought, wow, this is just so amazing. And I just felt so like, this is exactly what was supposed to happen. And then I went inside the tower, which is open to the sky. It's literally just four walls and it's open to the sky. And again, my heart swelled and I could feel the tears burning in my eyes. I have no idea why, but I guess 
that soul piece that was there for me must have came, come back for me and my heart got opened and healed while I was there and it was just one of the most amazing experiences. I hung out at the top for a little bit, it was pretty windy and I marveled at the most amazing view. just so beautiful and then I made my way down to the town and hung out in Glastonbury town which is also a pretty awesome town full of esoteric shops esoteric bookshops crystal shops spiritual readers of all kinds and it was just an amazing place unfortunately by this point I was feeling pretty hungover so I managed to just have some lunch before making the drive down home again but I thought that was just such a wonderful experience to have while I was there at the tour. I later found out that the Glastonbury tour is actually known as the heart chakra of the earth. Now the earth has chakras just like we do in our body. We have seven energetic points within our energy bodies that each correlate to different emotions and functions within our spiritual, energetic and physical world and life. And the earth has the same thing and Glastonbury tour is actually the heart chakra of the world and five is the heart number. So it was kind of amazing that at exactly five kilometers, I felt the heart chakra of the world and it had a profound effect on me. The next place I'd like to visit is an island out in Spain, Ibiza area, that's also super, super high energy. So that's my next trip that I wanna do, is go to more of these places and see what happens and see what that kind of intuitive messages I receive while I'm there. And I absolutely will be visiting Glastonbury Tour again as soon as I can. So if you've had any crazy experiences visiting sacred and spiritual and high energy places around the world, do let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this video, give it a like. And if you like my channel where I talk about all kinds of things, Things like mindset and law of attraction and living a wonderful life by design then please hit subscribe I would love to have you as part of the luminaire family please remember to be kind to yourself and to others I love you until next time goodbye